Hello everybody, so in today's video I'm gonna show you how to download and install AT Launcher for Minecraft Java in 2025. So let's get started. The first thing you wanna do is go to your web browser and I will have links in the description if you're interested, but simply go to your search bar and search up for AT Launcher, like so. Once you do this, you should see atlauncher.com. Simply click on AT Launcher and it should bring you to the AT Launcher homepage. So, simply go to the top of the website where you can find download, click that, and once you scroll down a tiny bit, you should see downloads here. And if you're on Windows, just click Windows, Setup. So simply click the green Setup button, and this will just automatically download AT Launcher for you. So, once you're done, simply go ahead and close your web browser, and now open up your downloads folder. Once you do this, you should see AT Launcher. And all you want to do is double click it like a normal app. And this will just open up the AT Launcher installer. So simply click next. Simply click I accept the agreement and next. Click next, next, and next, and install. And this just installs AT Launcher for you. So uh, let's just wait for that. And there you go. And if we click finish, this will just automatically launch up AT Launcher. And if it doesn't work or you want to do this again, just go ahead and search up for the app or go to your desktop if you have activated that feature. So just go and click finish. And it should just open up AT Launcher. So we now have AT Launcher. Here we says what language we want, English. Okay. Just do save. And here we says we're using an older version. And do we want to download a new version of Java? We can just do yes or no. I'll just do yes. And this just downloads a new Java update. And this will just open up the next step, which is actually going ahead and signing in to our Microsoft Java account. The way you do this is simply by going to accounts here. And here we see add an account. So simply go ahead and go and with login with Microsoft. And this will tell us, do we want to open JDK here? This will allow, this depends when you click this, but what you want is this page here. You want this login page. So simply go ahead and log into your Microsoft Java account. And once you have this, you should be able to see this page here. All you have to do is click accept. And this will let you actually use AT Launcher. So now all we have to do is go back to AT Launcher, like so. And here we can see our BAM4 here. This is our Minecraft account. So if we go back to instances here, we can see that we can start using AT Launcher. So all we have to do here is simply go ahead and go on Create Pack. And this is how we start using AT Launcher. All you want to do here is simply go ahead and go to instance name and give it a name. I'll just give it 1.2.1.4. We'll just be playing the latest version of Minecraft. You can do a lot of things with AT Launcher, but we'll just be playing Minecraft. So simply go ahead and go on instances or create pack. You simply want to have this window here open. And what you want to do now is simply select which version you want. I'm going to select 1.2.1.4. And here you can choose different loaders. So I'm just going to choose a fabric loader. And once we do this, we can just do create instance right here. This just downloads everything. Here we can see it's 300 megabytes, so it is basically Minecraft. And we will be able to start playing Minecraft Java 1.2.4 with Fabric. With Fabric, you can add mods and stuff, so that's why we chose Fabric. But you can choose Forge or NeoForge, you can use other things. Once you have this sorted out, you can go on OK. And we can now go to instances again. And here we can see that we now have something else. Huh? Before we had create pack, now we have 1.10.4. So what we can do here is simply go ahead and click play. Of course, you have a lot of stuff. We can even go to settings here and we can change how much RAM you, you, we are using and everything. There's a lot of things you can do. But what we're going to do here is just click play. And this just opens up Minecraft. So that's pretty useful. And this is the console here. So you can always see what's going on in your game. If you have any crashes or anything, 
this is your live console for my Java, which is really useful. You can see Java, it's loading, loading, everything's loading. Press really enter useful. to enable the so narrator. We just do off, we go to music real quick, and there you go. What we can do here, we can go to a multiplayer server, for example. We will have the same thing we had before, just do allow. And this will bring you the possibility to get a Minecraft server. And we can go to a single player world and even create a single player world. So we can go on creative. And here you can see that we're creating a world, which is pretty cool. So yeah, it's like a server. Here it is. And yeah, that's what AT Launcher is. It's a good mod loader. It really tells you what's going on to your game live. So yeah. In today's video, I showed you how to download and install AT Launcher for Minecraft Java in 2025. So if you like today's video, make sure to like and subscribe and see you for the next one. Bye.